so hello guys uh, this is yude so today we are going with uh, jayman interview experience you know jayman is a fintech company which visited gvp for on campus drive and it hired only a single digit number of candidates and you know sai teja is one of them so let us hear from him hi sai teja so can you introduce yourself yes hi there hello everyone this is sai teja a final year btech student in computer science and engineering from gayatri vidya parsha college of engineering recently i got the opportunity to go through the interview process with jayman group where i was selected I am excited to share my experience with all of you. Hopefully, this will help anyone preparing for their interviews with Jayman or any other company similar to it. Okay. Uh, so, can you uh, tell something about the Jayman company? Uh, what it does? Uh, anything uh, you know about uh, it? Yes. Uh, yeah. Jayman Group is basically a consulting and technology services company that primarily focuses on businesses helping businesses make smart decisions by turning their data into useful information. Uh, to make it clear, just imagine a retail company that wants to know. what products are popular during the different times in the in a year okay. so jayman could help them analyze their sales data to find patterns like which products sell best in summer and in winter so then they would suggest ways to stock up the right items helping company increase sales and profits so here jayman's role is like being a guide to help companies understand and use their data to make better decisions okay okay got it and uh, yeah what is the eligibility criteria to participate in this uh, on campus drive for jayman saitaj yes so the main eligibility criteria is uh, students from all disciplines like uh, btech chemtech bme and mca students are allowed so academic criteria is uh, uh, student need to score 60% or above throughout their class 10 12 and in the graduation okay. so there should not be any backlogs okay this is the eligibility criteria okay okay got it and uh, what are the number of rounds so this is completely an uh, on campus drive which uh, which lasted for two days and it consists of five rounds okay and the first round comes with uh, app which tests the technical ability and mathematical ability okay uh, where 20 mcqs will be given mm-hmm. and followed by a coding round which lasted for 90 minutes mm-hmm. so in the coding round we will be given eight questions of which uh, four are from sql and four are from coding okay so this is day 1 and the next day uh, followed by three interviews l1 interview l2 interview and then hr interview okay and uh, can you discuss about those l1 interview so uh, my l1 interview uh, lasted for 30 minutes okay. it started with a self introduction mm-hmm. and then uh, the interviewer asked me to explain my summer internship project we discussed and uh, he asked me cross questions on it okay and after that uh, he asked me to explain one of my major projects which i did okay. and also ask you to modify some code and show the output okay. which i did okay. and the next part comes with uh, he gave a coding question the question is simple uh, just to print a pattern okay. uh, but he asked it to write the code in just two lines where one line will be taken as input okay okay uh, in the second line we need to uh, write the code in python okay uh, can so, you uh, tell us about your project and uh, what did he ask you to modify in that project so uh, my project uh, was basically uh, deals with my internship in my internship uh, i have an employment data set okay so in the data set uh, i will be checking uh, their security equipment okay it's a steel based company so i'll be checking um, and identifying the objects which they wear like a helmet gloves okay. Okay. so he asked me to uh, perform some operations like uh, on the age of the employees okay, okay. so uh, he gave me some constraints and according to the constraints i need to perform the operation on the edge and set them in a separate column and add it to the final data set okay okay got it yeah so after the modification he was asked he asked me to share my screen and uh, write uh, and write two sql queries okay. uh, which focused uh, mainly on uh, joins group by having clauses okay. okay and also aggregate functions okay i solved both the questions okay so after this Uh, he asked me whether i have any practical experience with the uh, cloud platforms like uh, azure okay. google cloud okay. so i just said uh, i know only the cloud concepts i did not have any practical experience okay so and, and then he next moved to a question like uh, so about software development life cycle okay. so i explained him briefly about all the stages in the software development life cycle there uh, the l1 round ended okay uh, so are there any core subject questions for you no in l1 round uh, i don't I, i was not asked any core subject questions okay okay uh, so let us move to your l2 round uh, yeah okay. uh, this round also lasted for 30 minutes okay and the interviewer started asking about my experience in college okay uh, after that he asked me what i know about jayman group mm-hmm. okay so 
after that uh, he started asking he identified that uh, i'm good at python by seeing my resume okay. so he started asking from scratch like uh, what is python why we need it and then he moved on to control statements like break continue pass where we use it okay and then he asked me to write code and explain uh, on classes and inheritance okay okay uh, after that he asked me about integration testing uh, this is the only question which i didn't answer in this interview okay and then he moved to computer networks and asked some questions on uh, protocols and uh, asked me to mention some real life examples on them okay so uh, and then he yeah did you uh, remember any questions uh, like what does he exactly ask on that computer networks so he asked me uh, he started asking me like oh, what is computer networks why we need it and then he asked me about what are the protocols and osi layer yeah. and uh, asked me to list each example real life example for each protocol okay okay uh, after that uh, he moved to dbms and sql part okay so he asked uh, many questions like uh, few of them which i remember were uh, uh, rdbms versus dbms mm -hmm. and foreign key what are constraints uh, what is indexing and its types what are joins and their types okay and also questions on aggregate functions and differences between drop delete truncate okay and uh, what are stored procedures these are the questions which he asked i answered all of them okay okay they ran at the l2 round okay then uh, what about the hr round so after l2 round uh, i yeah, got and, a call uh, uh, after this yeah. l2 round how many members qualified for this hr round yes actually the in the first round uh, 1400 students participated okay after the first round uh, 150 students got shortlisted for the coding round okay and after that uh, day one has ended and for interviews only nine students got shortlisted okay after both uh, l1 and l2 only two students shortlisted for the hr round okay, okay. with yeah so hr round uh, lasted for 10 to 15 minutes okay uh, his, uh, here uh, l1 and l2 rounds happened uh, online and hr round is offline okay so uh, he started asking me about my self introduction my hobbies mm -hmm. and later uh, he asked me to explain both my projects in detail i explained him okay after that he asked me whether i am open to relocation or not okay 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 and then he asked me how i would manage working in a new location okay he ended the interview with by providing a scenario based question and asked my approach how to solve it okay uh, what is that scenario question so that scenario question is uh, basically uh, we have some load uh, with different quantities and also we have different trucks okay uh, we need to deliver uh, each particular load to a destination particular destination okay so he asked me in what way he would get maximum profit so the in minimal time of delivery okay yeah uh, what did you answer so i answered that first uh, we'll be giving preference to the loads profit each individual loads profit okay we'll who will first deliver the load which is more profitable mm -hmm. and uh, which has less load okay quantity yeah yeah uh, okay uh, that's all about your hr round yes sir okay and uh, what is the ctc that they are offering for this jman interview so they offer a 5 lpa okay. and also uh, a 2 lakhs commitment bonus after successful working for 30 months in their organization okay so that is a bond uh, which you have to work for 2 years then you will get additional 2 lakhs right yes okay uh, and yeah uh, what is your preparation strategy sir is like uh, you answered all those sql questions and dbms queries and you know you have prepared almost everything right you have touched upon every part so how did you prepare uh, for this uh, jman interview so for sql i prepared mainly from hacker rank platform i solved almost uh, 70 to 80% of the sql problems okay which really helped me in the second round that is coding round okay so, and uh, for my interview preparation i just revised uh, all my concepts which i studied in my semester time okay yeah that's it okay Okay, got it. Uh, yeah. Any suggestions from your side, Sai Tejas, for someone who is preparing for JMAN interview? Yes. Uh, my advice for anyone preparing is to make sure that all the skills and projects that you list on your resume, you should be confident on them because they really matter during interviews. As they, uh, they often want to know whether the practical experiences match up with what we say when they ask questions. Yeah. And also, the main thing which I suggest is. for interview preparation uh, we just revise our core concepts but we need to remember that coding and aptitude skills improve only with consistent practice 
yeah. so we need to focus on both coding and aptitude because they are the first rounds and doing well in them is really important to get shortlisted for interviews yeah correct so uh, yeah see uh, if sai teja you know uh, he is such a very humble person and you know uh, he answers every question uh, very gently you know and sometimes in interview your personality also matters you know uh, if you see this whole interview experience by the end of this video you uh, have to understand that you know uh, the personality of sai teja as well so yeah it is also one of the factor that you need to consider and uh, try to cover up on each and every topic uh, like you know uh, in this same one you saw uh, you know there are core subject questions uh, there are sql there are coding questions there are aptitude questions and even uh, you know he asked to modify his project you know uh, basically there is uh, uh, he uh, he told to add him some feature right so that is what we are trying to say so just uh, try to be uh, you know more honest even though the projects are very small it's fine just uh, go with that and you know uh, try to try to be more honest yeah that's all i want to say yeah anything from your side sai teja still if you want to say anything yeah that's it today thank you for the opportunity to share my experience yeah yeah thanks thanks for sharing your experience with us sai teja